Good morning, YouTube. So today I'm going to talk about a really cool plant for your landscape, lamb's ear. See that in the distance? That is lamb's ear from the genus Stachys. It's also called silver carpet because of its silvery appearance in the moonlight when dewdrops collect on it. Believe it or not, these, this area was planted early spring of this year. It's now September and it was just six plants. I'll throw up a picture of what it looked like at planting. But isn't that amazing? It's really cool edging plant or just planted in mass. Now this variety is called Helen von Stein and its leaves are two to three sizes bigger than the regular lamb's ear. I feel like lamb's ear is such an appealing addition to the landscape for its velvety feeling when you touch it. It's a really cool plant to introduce kids into gardening because it just is so soft and fuzzy and it really piques their interest because of its texture. <laughs> and I guess Ellie would like to say hi YouTube. <laughs> but look at the leaves. Can you see how fuzzy it is? Now these leaves are said to have medicinal qualities. Apparently they have tannins and alkaloids in them that you can boil down into a tincture and take it three times a day. And apparently it's supposed to help with headaches and a general overall calming effect. This plant was also used by the pioneers as, guess what, toilet paper. Also, it made a great wound covering because, you know, they didn't have bandages back then. So these leaves made an excellent choice for covering wounds and they are said to have some antiseptic properties to them. And this size does not, or this variety rather, does not flower. The other more common variety, the, the non-Helen von Stein variety, does flower. And I'll show you that in just a second. This is the non-Helen von Stein variety. Now this variety does flower. I'm not sure if it also contains the tannins, but as you can see, the leaves are thinner than the Helen von Stein variety. Like I mentioned, it does flower and you're supposed to cut off the flowers because it inhibits the foliage growth. So I do that. You can see that bloom stalk, that brown bloom stalk right there. That was one of the flowers. And it's got the sweetest, most distinct fragrance that I enjoy cutting off the flowers um, for the scent. I really have enjoyed this area of my garden this year. It's filled in just beautifully. I love when a plan goes right, don't you? So Faith and I would like to thank you for spending five minutes with us learning about the Helen von Stein variety of lamb's ear. Um, it's drought tolerant. It's evergreen in my area in North Texas. It's hardy zones three through nine. It's not planted in any amended soil. And if you'd just like a nice plant that would cover a lot of space in your garden with a really cool, different, fuzzy, big, bold leaf texture, I think lamb's ear, you should probably put it on your list to consider. Thankful for coming inside in the air conditioning because it's so hot outside right now. Um, and it's time for the wieners to take their nap. We've got Annabelle snoozing, we've got Scarlet back there, and Lulu, and the cat is behind Scarlet, and of course, Miss Faithy. So thanks so much for joining us today, and like and subscribe us, and we'll catch you in the next one. Bye.
Say goodnight, YouTube. I'm going to go take my nap now.